This tutorial is going to show you how to get rid of the Moye pattern, which is this pattern caused by the scanner. Usually when you um, scan something from a magazine or a yearbook like this one here. So let's get started. The first thing you do is go up to the filter and run your FFT filter. That's the Fast Fourier Transform. Um, let me hit Control Z, go back and duplicate that layer first. Oops, Control J will duplicate the layer. Then I run the Fast Fourier Transform. Go to Channel, go to the green channel. What you want to do is leave this starburst here in the middle, but brush over all the other ones. Um, so we'll put it on normal. Uh, I got some weird brush up here, which I probably used to make hair earlier. Let's go with that one. Make it bigger. Just get rid of everything but the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's good enough. Now you got to go back to your RGB channel. That's important. And then run the inverse Fourier transform, which is IFFT. Now, if I get rid of the background, it, you see it's got this very washed out image. So what I'm going to do is Right before the layer that we did the transform on, I'm going to insert a layer and then fill it with 50% gray. And it looks like that. So I'm going to take the transform layer, which is layer 1, and I'm going to add just a little bit of blur to it. So I'll go to Gaussian Blur and point, point 0.5 in. And now I am going to put a level adjustment layer on above it. I'm going to slide the black low layer, low level up and the high level down to increase the contrast and then I can use the middle slider to get the grayscales right. And what I'm looking for is a good band across the skin here that looks pretty decent, not too dark, not too bright. So we'll go right there. So that's how you basically use it, and at this point you can go ahead and sharpen it up. I'll do a high pass um, filter sharpening, so I'll go make a new layer, hit Control Alt Shift E, which will make a clone stamp for that layer. I'll put that layer on overlay, and then hit Filter, Other, High Pass, and if I start at zero, that's no sharpening and the more I go to the right the more it sharpens up and what I'm looking at is his eyes and when the eyes get sharp enough I'll hit OK and then I'm gonna put a layer mask on it so I'm gonna click the icon down here and hit control I that makes the layer mask black so it's like right now it's the adjustment layer is off but now I can paint where I want the sharpening so I can paint over his eyes like this and I'll sharpen just his eyes, maybe his teeth and his button. And let's make it a little bigger and sharpen up his hair and his ears, his eyebrows. There we go. And now I'm going to make a new layer, pick my clone stamp and just fix a couple of these layers right here. By the way, the quick key for the clone stamp is S. So if I hit S, I'll go right to the clone stamp, and of course you hit Alt to pick up the Alt and a click to pick up the layer, and then just a left click to lay down a new clone stamp. And if you get something like this, just go ahead and use the healing brush. Um, so that's basically how you do it, and of course you can go ahead and fix up the rest of the image as you would any other image. So that's how you use the Fourier transform and the inverse Fourier transform.